Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to compare the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 13 mini. Though these phones look exactly the same, but there are many differences in between both of these phones, right from the battery life to their design. Now the design um, is pretty similar, but there is a smaller footprint for the iPhone 13 mini at uh, 5.4 inches while the iPhone 13 is at 6.1 inch. We will deep dive into the specifications as well. So if you are confused between both these phones, you should have an answer at the end of the video. I have done a comparison between the 13 mini and the iPhone 12, the iPhone 12 and the 13 as well. So I will link those in the description. And before we move on to the finer details, do subscribe to the channel down below, click on the bell icon, like the video and comment if you have any queries because I answer to all your questions. And now let's talk about the actual specifications. So we have a 5.4 inch display on the iPhone 13 mini which is on the right and the iPhone 13 has a 6.1 inch display. Both are Super Retina XDR OLEDs. So this time Apple did decide to go with the OLED. Though it is not a high refresh rate, you still have a 60 Hertz panel only but both the displays are extremely bright at a maximum of 1200 nits so that's good they have got good screen to body ratio as well which is almost 85 and 86 percent for the iphone 13 mini and 13 respectively you get a higher pixel per inch display uh, density on the iphone 13 mini at 476 so technically the iphone 13 mini is slightly sharper than the iphone 13. They both run iOS 15 and we will do a short app opening test as well so that we can see the differences between both of them. They have the same A15 Bionic which is the newest Apple Silicon which is good. They both come with 128 GB of base storage and 4 GB of RAM and they can be taken to 512 GB of storage. So there is no difference there. And as you can see, I am opening all the apps one by one and there is exactly no difference. Both of them are opening simultaneously and there is no lag with respect to any phone. So it's not that the mini is slower or the 13 is faster. They both are exactly the same, same processor, same everything. So basically, you're not going to have much of a difference if you buy either of these phones with respect to the performance or heavy tasks or something like that uh, or even gaming for that matter they all they both are going to be the same now with respect to the pro versions uh, you get the same exact a15 chip in all of the four phones so the pro max the pro as well as the normal 13 and the 13 mini so that's that's the same and let me open some more apps to show you the difference between both of these we will even go over some games so that we can see if there is any difference in the speed of the apps opening or the games opening with respect to both these phones now after opening all these apps even if i check the ram management of both these phones it's practically the same it has kept all the apps in the background working ready to be used now that is a plus point with respect to the a15 bionic chips and the 4GB of RAM which do keep everything in the background and now as I am speaking there is a game which is opened up they both are exactly the same so both the phones are doing pretty well and I am pretty happy with the performance that they are showing the A15 Bionics are proving to be really good with respect to man uh, RAM management as well as battery so that is good there and one more app or one more game we'll look at and as you can see, both of them were very identical. You can slow down the video and check it out as well uh, if you are, if you want to get convinced even further. Now let's move on to the battery life and here we will see a major difference with respect to both these phones. And while the app opens up, the iPhone 13 mini has a 2438 mAh battery. The iPhone 13 has a 3240 mAh battery. Now the iPhone 12 mini was a real letdown with respect to battery life. It was just there, uh, barely even 5 hours or 4.5 hours of screen on time. 
But both these phones are extremely good. The iPhone 13 mini is a real st- step up with respect to the battery life. So they both support fast charging so you have 0 to 50% in 30 minutes. So that's good. The iPhone 13 mini is at 18 watts of fast charging. The iPhone 13 is at 23 watt. So pretty good there, but if you want real robust battery life, the iPhone 13 is the phone to go with because even though it is a slightly bigger screen, it has a better endurance with respect to battery. And now, since we have already jumped on the camera, let's talk about the camera specifications as well. So it's a dual camera setup for both the phones. We have a 12 megapixel wide, uh, 12 megapixel ultra wide on both the phones. And on the front, you have a 12 megapixel wide camera with uh, depth sensors. And while those were the specifications and they miss on a telephoto lens, these phones can still zoom to a 5x. And I have some camera samples as well, which compare both these phones. But they do have the new cinematic mode as well, which is good. Uh, they do not have the macro mode, which is a slight letdown. They should have a macro mode as well. But nevertheless, both these cameras are really good. And between both these phones, if I do not compare it with the Pro series, then both these phones are really good. They have got a 120 degree field of view with respect to the ultra wide. And let's look at the uh, photos which I have taken with both these phones as well. And first, we have the ultra wide of both the phones so you can see the differences i do not see much differences uh, this is the wide again this is the telephoto at 5x one more wide shot to see how the colors are and another telephoto which is at 5x so both these phones are producing practically the same uh, images i do not see much difference with respect to the images even if you zoom in um, they practically look the same. So let me know down in the comment section uh, if you like either of these photos and if you think one is better than the other. And while you comment below, I will move on to the sound test. They both have dual firing speakers. So let's uh, give them a listen and I'll keep quiet so that you can hear the phones. The most anticipated phone according to me at least, the iPhone 13 Pro Max and let's see how well it does. Before we get into the main video, do subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon and don't forget to like the video. It's a better phone, according to me at least, the iPhone 13 Pro Max and let's see how well it does. Before we get into the main video, do subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon and don't forget to like the video. So the 13 Pro Max couple of days design out and it's been a couple of days the design is pretty similar to what we had on the 12 pro series so, the so with that we are at the end of the video i think both of the phones did really well with respect to the speaker test and uh, the app opening test the cameras uh, the photo samples as well as the display so i think if you want a smaller phone, you can actually choose the 13 mini. It is a decent phone with everything you get with the normal 13. Obviously, uh, sacrificing on a screen real estate and a little bit of battery life. But apart from that, both these phones are really good. Apple has done an amazing job. If you have any queries, uh, write down in the comment section and I will respond to them. As usual, thanks for watching.